Hey guys, we're on to the next chore of the day. So we got all the goat and cow horns burned and now it's on to a job in a way we're dreading and in a way we're looking forward to. We've showed you the sheep that have mowed our yard all year and I told you that we'd raised a few to eat. Well, it's time the temperature dropped overnight. It's maybe 60 degrees. It's really cool today. So we're gonna process our first one. And with that comes, first thing is we've got to kill it. So come with us. I hate this part, but if you want me to take the knife? Yes, if you eat meat, you have to face this part. But when you <sighs> when you slaughter an animal yourself, you've got to cut the carotid artery and let them bleed out. And at this point, it's just all nerves. It's nerves, and they're. They're unconscious, but I still hate it. We try to do everything we do like this as quick and painless for the animal as possible. What I'm doing there is pumping. Every time you pull it back, I pump the blood out. shop I'm gonna show you this is I had never done a, a lamb before but this is exactly how I do my deer on this you got your bone and then you got a ligament poke a hole right through there same thing on this one and we got a oh, piece of metal that you bent right and you put it through there and won't fall down on a rope. Hardest parts to get it started, and that's them same holes. You go around, around the leg. Number one thing you want to be careful of, of course you need a sharp knife to do this, but do not cut that, that ligament. Your whole animal will fall. Yes. Is this as hard to cut as deer hide or is it easier? I can't tell quite yet, but. Deer are a little uh, tricky to well, get through their hair and. Seems like this is about just the same. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do that one. I think the key to skinning any animal is a good knife. Yep, good sharp knife. And there are some animals we've cleaned, like pigs, that they'll dull, dull your knife in a hurry. You better have more than one sharp one ready to go. Or something to sharpen it while you're doing it. I take my time right here because I do not want to cut that ligament. Well, if you cut it, your whole plan will hold it up to the front. Yep. Alright, next thing I do is a different knife. It's got a gut hook in it. And I go right in that right there. If I can get it started. Oh. I can't seem to find the right angle. Here we go. 
The hard part about a gut hook is they are hard to sharpen. I don't have a, a sharpener for it. Okay, so you kind of stop right there. Yep. And then connect those two. Okay. And then pull up on it. Lane, can you hold this leg where it don't spin? Pull up on it. So what are you being careful for right here? Like I know the, of course the area we're in, you don't want to cut like. Well, it's just everything getting the started. urine and all that, you don't want that well, running anywhere. We're, so. we're not into that yet. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to get everything started here. Peel it back, get get something to, a little hide to get a hold of. Mm -hmm. and that. You're just trimming a little bit. Mm-hmm. And from what we've watched of cleaning lambs, we're hoping this hide's just gonna pull off here in a minute. But. It looked to me, the video I watched looked just like a deer. I cleaned many a deer, so not too, I guess I'm not too worried yet. Turning this way, there you go. The only thing I'm seeing so far different than the video I watched is they done wool sheep and I'm seeing that the the hair on the hair sheep does come off like a deer. So alright. So you have to wash the meat. Yeah. Pretty good. Yep. Alright, see if this is like a deer. Grab it. Pull. Grab it and pull. Because this is if someone was trying to watch this video and do it, to me, the time I cleaned the deer by myself, this was one of the hardest parts. You Go don't want to cut into it and get, I'm sorry, but poop all over your meat. Nope. Like I said, this is our first time doing these, uh, raising sheep. I'm not, right here, I'm just cutting the testicle cords. Okay. Uh, we don't know what it's even gonna taste like. I've never had had lamb. If, uh, if you've had lamb and you're watching this video, why don't you leave us a comment on your favorite lamb recipe? Yeah. Favorite way to cook it, even if it's just not a fancy recipe, just a temperature and a, can you smoke it, grill it? You have to brine it. All right, where's the tail? Well, we're right there at it. What we're looking at is the, what do you call it? Okay, it's not pulling off exactly like a deer hide. One thing, cleaning deer that I learned, you roll it up like this. Okay, he's trying to trim the tail. What do you do, Ben? Do you just cut it off? Mm-hmm. You find the, the joint where it connects. Just like the vertebrae. Cut right in between. There it is. Okay. Okay. Right here, you have to trim a little bit. Stuff. Tight right. connections. Yeah. Now this thing is pretty young, so we're not going to get tons of meat out of this, but uh, that's what we wanted. We wanted to try it young first. Ooh. 
Yeah, Alright, same thing with deer the brisket area or whatever you want to call it right here. It's always the hardest. To skin? Yeah. Got to do some trimming. Yep. Sure. All right, when you cut the legs, they've got the shoulder blade. When you cut the front legs, you come around between the rib cage and the front shoulder blade. Just like that. So, so far we've got the shoulders off of it. We took the neck off of it. Uh, I've made my spots where I want to cut. Um, we're going to, I'm going to cut this off. Like I said, I've never done this before. Um, I'm going to cut this off and then split it down the middle with my Sawzall. So let's give her a shot. We got the section off here for our lamb chops. Now what we're gonna do, <clears throat> what I didn't do, is you know I didn't cut all this out and pull it through. So <clears throat> we're afraid we got a little fecal matter inside there. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do on deer when I do them. I don't ever cut this in half. I go in right here. Come around the back side, and you'll find there's a bone right here. You go off to the side of it, go around it just like so, and come back down, right down the spine. Right there's that bone, right here. So. Yeah, I lost a little little bite of meat, but just the way I do it, and I'd rather have totally clean meat here than run a chance of getting any type of infection. So, somebody hold this leg over here. Right. What I'm trying to feel for is the backbone where we cut it here. Right there it is. You'll follow it up. And what we're looking for is the ball socket. You get on the back side of the backbone right there. Go all the way back over where you made that cut. Come in here. All right, twist it this way. All right, right here is the ball socket for their, their back hip. You can take that. Put your knife in the socket. Are you going to pop it out right now? I'm going to twist it around. Okay. All right. Mine don't pull it all the way out. Okay. Ooh. Anyway, so you trim all that meat right there off the, the hip bone up to that ball socket, which is right there. I get it all right close, and then I go to the other one. All right. Then you take that and grab that whole hip. And see how that socket just popped out? Now all we got is a little bit of meat behind it. There you go. What I'm trying to feel for is feel 
exactly where it's at. Oh, right there. See that? Go around the back side. And you're done. Now you got two rear hams. All right, grab that one, Lane. Let go. Now they're balanced together. On this thing, if that would have still been in a whole carcass, of course it's going to want to go up. Grab that leg, pick up. Boom. We're done with that. Almost done. Almost done. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You want to tell them what you got? We have got a leg of lamb. We are cooking it in some butter and some of this, this is our favorite stuff ever, Montreal steak seasoning. We used to buy it at Walmart, but I found that Azure Market has their own brand. Uh, it's gluten-free, GMO-free. It's just literally... Your timer's going off. And I burnt the butter a little bit, so that's the smoke alarm, so I'll be right back. When we first got married, that was her timer for her oven or whatever. So I still tease her today of her timer's going off. I really don't do that very often anymore. I wanna just put that out there. <laughs> but it does happen sometimes. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, and that may go off again because it's really smoky in here. This is just salt, garlic, spices, red pepper flakes, and sunflower oil. So it is, you love it, don't you? Yep. Tell them you love it. I do, it's well, I feel focused. Gluten free, GMO free. It is delicious. We really like it on steak. We'll cook steak inside in a cast iron skillet in the winter and butter and that stuff. It is delicious. Anyway, we are trying, I am trying to sear a little bit this leg of lamb and then we're going to pop it in the oven for a few hours while we go haul hay so it doesn't really fit in my pan very well but i'm hoping as it kind of gets a little more flexible it'll get in there so i just put some garlic butter and the seasoning down in there and it is like charbroiled from the brown butter I'm Are you hoping, put anything else in there with it? I'm probably going to put some onions and I don't know, what do you want? Uh, we'll throw some potatoes in there. Yeah, potatoes. You can't go wrong with potatoes. Maybe carrots. The last time we did this, I'm going to be honest, the lamb tasted like when we cook a deer roast. It was kind of like almost filmy and greasy, but in, not in a good way. We really didn't like it, I'm going to be honest with you. We were kind of disappointed. So we need your help. If you have tricks on cooking lamb, lamb recipes, I'm hoping this searing it will kind of hold the juices in and it won't dry out. It wasn't really dry last time, would you say? No, but it, it kind of left a greasy film on yeah. the tongue. Which deer meat will do that too, which that's what it reminded us of. So give us some tips in the comments. Do you cook lamb? How do you do it? What's your favorite way? We're just gonna kind of cook this like a roast. So we'll let you know. We'll be back with you when this gets done. Okay, so it's been about three hours. I cooked this on 350 for about three hours. Actually, I cooked it on 350 for about two hours. Then we had some more stuff to do outside and I turned it off and it's just been kind of warming for the last hour. So the moment of truth. It looks good. It's kind of covered by the carrots, but all right, we're going to get it dished up and we will show you what it looks like on the plates. And there is supper. There's that one and that one. Alrighty, here comes the uh, moment of truth. Leg of lamb. Mmm. That's actually really good. A lot better than last time. Yes, it is. I think searing it to seal in the juices instead of just cooking a big Boy, it's tender raw too. piece of meat. Is oh, the man. Key. I could sit here all not long eating this but Probably we're gonna make <laughs> we're gonna make pigs of ourselves for a minute so <laughs> we'll turn the camera off anyway uh thanks for watching our videos if you hadn't already uh subscribe um uh, help us out uh maybe share us on uh some of your social media sites but anyway give us a thumbs up thanks for thanks for watching until next time
God bless.